How's it going guys? It's Jeremy. Wanted to do a review on the Blue Yeti USB microphone. This microphone is arguably one of the best in its price range. Absolutely phenomenal microphone and for several reasons. Number one, it is just built with lots of functionality uh, right on it. And you're, it's going to kind of change the sound of my voice as I turn it, but I want you guys to see this and I'm going to zoom in on it here. So right on the front, you see it's hanging upside down because I have it mounted coming down in front of me, but you'll see it's got a mute button, tap to mute. And then it's got a volume button here because you can plug headphones right into the bottom of the microphone and use this as your, as your speaker output so that you can listen to all the sounds in your earphones so you're not getting cross-contamination going from you know sound coming out of your computer and into your mic and getting that feedback loop. Uh, but it also plays your voice from the speaker back in through your headset so it doesn't sound like you're sitting there talking with your fingers and your ears. Just plug your ears like this and start talking. And without that talkback feature, that's what it's gonna sound like when you're trying to do a live stream or something like that and it's hard to focus. On the back side, it has a gain control, which I have it set not even to a quarter of the way up because I want it, I don't want it super sensitive. It already picks up so much sound. And then probably the best part is right here where you actually have four different settings for the microphone pattern. So the one I'm using right now is the heart shaped one. It's called cardioid. That is for like a single, a single person uh, using it. And then you can like have it set so that if you're, you put it in the middle of two people and you can do a podcast, you have a setting to where it's the circle where you can, it picks up sound all the way around the mic. So if you're wanting to pick up like live audio from a band or something like that. So just lots of flexibility. Now I want to compare it uh, to another mic that is even cheaper that I have been using for a long time, a great microphone, but the HyperX SoloCast doesn't come with any extra audio uh, clarifying software or anything like that. It's literally you plug it in and what you get is what you get. So all you can do is control the distance from your face and you can mute it. So it doesn't have the flexibility of this, even though it's probably about half the price. Now, um, I'm going to flip between them here so you can hear the sound difference uh, between the two microphones. So here, the, the, what I've been talking through here is the Blue Yeti. And now I'm going to switch over to the HyperX. So now you're hearing me through the HyperX, you'll notice that's a lot more sensitive. It's not as uh, low tones. It's a little bit higher, a little bit more shrill. And it's also about four to five inches further from my face uh, with no audio you know, setting changes or I'm not running it through any third party software. You can get third party software to modify it. But that's what I love about the Blue Yeti is it comes built into the Logitech software that I'm already using for my mouse and you know and other peripherals that I use. So that's the 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 HyperX SoloCast and I'm going to switch back to the Blue Yeti. And there you go. You can hear just a massive difference in sound. They're both set to the exact same volume in my recording software that I'm using right now. So Anyhow, in summary, you guys, I love the Blue Yeti. Probably the only thing I would say negative about it is it is huge. It is a very large microphone. The HyperX here is very small. And so, I mean, just look at that. It, I mean, the HyperX is barely as big as the pop filter and that's, you know, such a small piece of the Blue Yeti. So, I mean, big size difference, but with that comes, you know, if you can overcome the size, which maybe you're going to need a stronger arm if you're going to, you know, hover it like I am. But uh, other than the size, you can adjust the sound. You can get it right where you want it and you have flexibility if you want to use it for podcasts and stuff like that. I do not need two microphones if I'm going to put it on a table between me and a, and a guest on a podcast. So anyhow, guys, highly recommend the Blue Yeti if you're looking to not spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but still want amazing sound quality on your microphone go with the Blue Yeti.